Microsoft has just released a cybersecurity analyst certificate aimed at people with absolutely no IT experience. But the cool thing about this certificate is that it will teach you the basics of cybersecurity and the basics of cloud. And not only that, but it will also give you a chance to practice all the theory that you learned in a hands-on lab. But you know what else is great about this course is that it's designed to get you to pass the popular Microsoft certification exam SC900. Now this is really important because you will not only get a shareable badge that you finish the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst course from Coursera, but they also give you a practice exam to practice for that certificate. And then later on, you can attempt the exam and be certified by Microsoft, which is a big deal because if you don't have a degree or any certification, this can be your first cybersecurity qualification. As I tried to enroll in the course, I also found they have an exclusive offer. They give you 14 days free trial, but not only that, they are also giving the first 2,500 students who pre-enroll in this course a free certificate exam so you can attempt your Microsoft SC 900 certification for free if you manage to enroll quick enough so I enrolled and started doing this course to figure out if it was worth it but you all know I didn't have a choice no joke I've been getting daily messages about this course asking me to review it and the messages have started two months ago before the course was even released so here we are let's get into it so looking at the first module it will basically explain to you what a computer is and how software and hardware all fit together which is really great so if you don't have a degree or any IT background, you don't really have to do the CompTIA A+. And then as you progress to the second course, it covers both networking and cloud computing. And again, as you see, it takes you through the basics of networking and how networking is applicable to us as cybersecurity professionals. I say this in every video, but you really don't need to do CCNA or Network Plus. Almost all good cybersecurity certificates will go over the basics of networking and they will give you everything that you need as a cybersecurity professional. So it will show you how data travels on the network to explain to you what an IP address is and what a port number is you'd be surprised how many candidates I interview who can't explain to me the difference between an IP address and a port number and then it starts explaining to you things from a security point of view it will explain to you DNS but it will also show you DNS attacks and what we monitor against and then it touches on network security tools that we use in cyber security such as VPNs it will also explain to you the difference between authentication and authorization and it will take you through firewalls and how we use them to stop security threats and then in week four you learn all about cloud computing I noticed that this course will teach you what cloud computing is what virtualization is but because it's a Microsoft course it will focus on Microsoft Azure which is the cloud computing solution from Microsoft but here's the issue the most popular cloud computing platform is Amazon AWS but Microsoft Azure is the second most used cloud computing platform so if you're wondering what should you do should you learn AWS or should you learn Microsoft Azure? My answer to you is learn both if you can, but if you learn one of them, the other one is extremely similar. The concepts are the same, the tools are extremely similar. They may have different names, but that's about it. So the fact that you're getting to learn about Microsoft Azure so early on in your career is a huge plus because there is a massive need for cybersecurity professionals who also understand cloud. So that can be your competitive advantage. Now, unfortunately, because this course is so new, the rest of the modules aren't open for me yet to review. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. But if we look at the rest of the course description, we can understand what it teaches. So it will later on take you through the cybersecurity threat vectors and mitigation. So this is another deep dive into the basics of cybersecurity. And then it goes through cybersecurity identity and access solution using Azure AD. As I said, this is a Microsoft course. So it will teach you the extremely popular tool that we use in the industry called Active Directory, which we use for identity and access management. So Azure Active Directory is the Active Directory solution in the cloud. So if you in the industry you will run into this and as cybersecurity professionals we are not the ones who configure Microsoft AD but we must know how it works so this course will take you through that course 5 takes you through Microsoft cybersecurity solutions so this course will give you a chance to learn and practice with Microsoft tools so it will take you through Microsoft Defender which is the anti malware solution from Microsoft it's widely used in the industry course 6 is about cybersecurity tools and technologies so course 6 will actually explain to you the different types of penetration 
penetration tests. It will get you to create a penetration testing plan and it will get you to execute a penetration testing on a cloud platform. So this course comes with a capstone project where you get to apply the concepts that you've learned. And one of the tasks that you will do is to create a penetration testing plan, which course six goes over. Course seven is about cybersecurity management and compliance. So it will teach you the principles of cloud security planning and how to identify security requirements for cloud architecture. You will also learn about Microsoft privacy principles and it will expose you to some of the tools that you can use for compliance management within the Microsoft Azure Cloud. Course eight is the capstone project, which is potentially the most important part of this course as you will get to put all the theory that you've learned into practice. So it will teach you advanced topics such as the different stages of threat modeling. You will also get exposed to access control, secure code development, cryptography, and asset management. These are all fairly advanced topics. So I will believe you will get a basic introduction to these topics that you can later on build on as you do more certifications and get more experience and hopefully land your first cybersecurity role. So the Capstone project will basically be a focused security mitigation strategy plan for a business. And the best part is you'll get to put that plan into a portfolio project that you can use for interviews or when you apply to jobs, you can mention this as a project that you've made, which will make you stand out. The final part of the course is just a practice test to prepare you to pass the Microsoft SC900 exam, which as I said, will look really, really good on your CV, especially if you don't have a lot of credentials. So to be honest, from the courses that I've done so far, I found the quality to be really good. I found the explanation to be clear. The language is extremely clear and the course comes with so many subtitles that you can use. So if English is not your first language, you can choose whichever subtitle to use for this course. So they explain complicated concepts in a very clear, understandable manner. But the big question is what should you do? At the moment, you can't really view all the modules yet. You can only view two, maybe three, depending on when you watch this video. The way I see it, you have two options. Option number one, you can wait until the end of this year where all the modules are open and then you can start doing them. But the problem with this, you will most definitely miss out on getting the free attempt to the Microsoft SC900 exam. Or option number two is because this course is hosted on Coursera, you can always get an annual subscription to Coursera or a monthly subscription to Coursera. So you can do something like the Google Cybersecurity Certificate or the IBM Cybersecurity Certificate. And then when you finish them, you can use the same subscription to do the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate. And if you decide to wait for this certificate until it gets released, then I highly recommend you do the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, which I reviewed in detail in this video.